Well, all I'm doing now is I put a three gram Ned uh, jig head on there and um, I put one of the TRD bugs on and I chuck that out and bounce it along the bottom see if I can get snagged or snag a fish one or the other but I should be able to chuck that a really long way so I just tied that on direct that's not surprising he's not casting as far as the uh, the spinners were bigger profile I suppose and I'm just gonna it's gonna hop around on the bottom anyway because it's gonna catch the tide but I'm just gonna see if there's a chub around on this side I think I'm gonna have to go for a walk though Oh, I needed to bring more mullet spinners. I need to make a whack of them up. Oh, yeah, got some of it. I think it's a little perch again, to be honest. Yeah, it's looking like it. But, there, on the... Uh, on the little net. So we're having a bit of fun with perch. Maybe there might be some bigger ones around. There he goes. Probably get a few of those then, I would imagine. And that was just winding it hopping it along the bottom like I would for wrasse to be honest and they're in close these perch by the look of it I'm just gonna jiggle it a bit more this cast see if that makes any difference I can feel it bouncing along the bottom nicely very so often just catching of what was bigger than the others oh oh thought it was in then no a lot of fish flashing I'm peeved about the mullet situation because I was hoping to get one of them today. I only bought one spinner and I lost it. Still, maybe later. Oh, yeah, we got another perch, I think. So we're having a bit of fun with the little wasps. This one's slightly bigger. They're getting bigger. Beautiful animals, beautiful things. And I'm just hand lining them up. So here we go, we're, we're catching. I'm enjoying it. And who knows, they might get bigger than that. Let's film it, let's check. Yeah, nice little fish. Oh boy, pop them back in. Probably sweep the rest of the show, but... So there's a few of them around and this little uh, no rig TRD bugs is doing the business, isn't it? See, it's a bit of a confidence booster, because I've not perch fished with it before. And we may still, after a few more of these, may still walk around the side. So I've been forced to adapt. You can only fish for what's in front of you with the gear that you've got. I, the chub is too high yet, I think. I haven't worked out where they sit at high water. Well, I think I have, I just gotta go for a walk and I was being lazy. But uh, having caught that little perch on the spinner, I thought I'd have a go for some more here with this TRD bug and I hope that I might, just might. Oh, here's another one. Pick up a, a chub. There it comes. Oh, these are absolutely hammering this. And they're not tiny. And they really are hammering this Z-Man TRD bug. Put them back in the water. Oh, there's a shoulder of back there, isn't it? Ooh, we're getting a bit near that log again. So a little bit of stealth. I mean, they are wasps. They're not the hardest fish to catch really you never know there might be a big one hanging around in the river I don't know the river well enough to you know this is all new to me so I'm just using this, the skills that I've learned through lure fishing for other species to catch fish here it's it's all universal to be honest isn't it if you're you know, listen, me catching fish on Neds is nothing new to the, to you guys. You probably catch loads of them. Um, but it shows how transferable your your skills can be. I'm not expecting to get a big chub here now, a uh, big perch here now, but I'm catching a few fish. I'm building confidence in what I'm doing. To see if I oh, yeah there's another see this one feels a bit bigger it is further out in the flow so it could just feed that but it does feel slightly bigger oh well yeah they're not a bad stamp of fish are they 
really. You know, they're quite nice little fish. That. They seem to be just down here. The bush is a little bit awkward, but I'm not letting them because I've got to spook everything. I'm able to swing them in on this nice soft rod. And uh, I'm not really having to do a lot with the bug. It's the, the current's giving, making it a lot of, there's one just flashed at it there. Right down here, I got him. Saw him take, oh he's come off. They're hugging just down in here out of the current, that's what they're doing. Let's see if we can. Get him stood up. Let's see if we can't see something take here. I'll probably spook them to be honest. Yeah, one's got it now there. They're a nice little fish actually. That's the biggest yet. Almost half, I don't know, six ounces, something like that. Beautiful, beautiful creatures. Hard to hang on to. There we go. I'll keep that. One more. This uh, little TRD bug is absolutely slaying me. Let's see if we can get some more footage of takes because they're not very far out, they're just down here. Oh, if you'll see, I haven't got a Polaroid lens on, but you might see a bit more. And this, this TRD, I can see what it's doing now. I'm just inching it up along the bottom. I've probably spooked them now, are they? Just skipping it. Probably see me, I may have caught them. I don't know how big a shoal it was. Let's try a bit further out, whether they're further out and hitting, hitting when it gets in closer. Oh, there is a pulp. We'll see. Yeah, another little tap. Yeah, there's one. Not so big, this diamond on me. Little tiny one. Actually, it could be. Yeah, it is a perch. No, I've caught a chub. <laughs> Called a chublet, so <laughs> quite a bit of fun. This, uh, oh, he's a you're on. I think this is a chub, I don't know. I presume, yes, yeah, a chub, isn't it? It's not a dace. I don't know how to tell the difference. I'm not that experienced. I'm afraid. Here he goes. We're catching a variety of fish here. These are all the fish we were sort of topping, I guess. So, we caught a chub or a chublet. Be nice to get a big one. And the rod's lovely, it's just soft enough not to pull it out of their mouths. Pretty much hooking the fish for me. Yeah, I think I might speak the perch now. Try working it slower. Hope we get all this little thing. Oh, no, it's just rock. Trying to keep it near the deck. Oh, what other swan just pooped out there? I think what I'm gonna do is just try a cast or two for every day. Oh, perch just followed it right in. Only a little guy, but he followed it right in there. If we can't get him, he's obviously worked up for it. Yeah, yeah, got one. I just backed off a little bit. This is a perch this time, can you see it? Fighting in there, dive straight for the cover. There we go, right in the top bit. Another little beautiful perch. I don't think there's bigger fish here, to be honest. I think they are uh, smaller fish, but enjoyable all the same. It's it's pulling my line. I know there's bigger fish around. Oh, just missed one then. 
I know it was bigger fish to be honest I think. Oh, it's a mullet down there. I can see them. Yeah, got another little perk. Oh, off he came. Oh, that was a mullet. If that was a chub, I'll have that. Looks like a mullet to me now. So, I've learned something new. I've tried something different. I wasn't sure if it'll work or not, but it is. Perch being perch are just a, such aggressive hard feeders. They're not going to pass up an opportunity of a bait put right in their faces, are they? That's where I'm going to go now. It's actually swimming quite a lot, this TRD bug, as I'm bringing it in, as I'm flipping it a little, just a tiny amount. The current's catching it, and its flappers are just going like that, thumping a bit. And uh, we might go for a little wade in a second. Just down there. So they seem to have backed off a bit. Oh. Seem to have dropped out, which fish will do, won't they? Right, we're going to have a little wade. My plan is to drop in with the water and fish new water all the time, which I can't cast to. Oh, yeah, there's one, something, thumping away, feels like a perch. I think he's come off. No, he's still on. Yeah, little perch, little stripey, look at him fight there. They're amazing, beautiful little creatures. I mean, it's lovely to catch big ones, but look how pretty this fish here is. That is a stunning animal, isn't it? Look at it, look at the colors, they're just, they're little jewels. Amazing. Off he goes. Right out, so... Right, let's try a chuck. Right down the bank. Tighten the braid, so we don't go in the reeds. We'll have to wait out a bit further now. A little bit of a drop up, we're off to our, up to our knees now, and then it comes up again. Let me just hit it. Oh, yeah, oh. Um, oh, yeah, we got got some of a perch, I think. It's thumping a bit. Of course, they pull beautifully in this uh, current. You get a better fight out of them. Oh, he's giving up now. He's only big comes, isn't he? I'll set that a bit looser. You can see they're absolutely engulfing these TRD bugs. I don't want to hook this tree. There's a mullet rolling there, you see. See, that mullet actually come up for that lure then. Amazing, I can't catch one. Love little buddy. And they're having a go at a TRD bug. I've got to learn how to catch these. I'll relearn. You might get them on a fly. Oh, we've got a little perch. Right out in front of us he was. This is that beautiful, splendid little animal. Flashing around, fights so hard. The wood is lovely and soft. And he's engulfed it, hasn't he? Again, they're absolutely engulfing these lures. Alright. Let's work it around to get him. There he goes. I'm going to release one underwater if we get another one. You can really have a look at their colours. I'm enjoying this though. I'm enjoying catching a few perch. I haven't caught a few perch for a while. I've tried on the canal. I used to catch a lot on a local canal. And uh, there's a. Oh no. And uh, I haven't done that in about 15 years. I, up to about nearly three and three quarter pounds was the biggest I had. And it's bigger than that in, in our local, my local canal anyway. And uh, I want to get back into it. You know, I've been obsessed with uh, lure fishing for pike and chub and. Uh, not chub. Pike and wrath of late and bass. But now I found chub and I want to catch more perch again. Everything's moved on, you wouldn't believe how quickly, or you probably do, quickly things move on with fishing. You know, oh that was something. Braids everywhere. It's made such a difference with lure fishing. Good braids. Uh, fluorocarbon. Smaller, lighter reels and rods. Yeah, there's no need for anything too big. You can see, it's 
through the water there. What this? Oh, it's a little. <laughs> the perch just come out. Can you see it down there in the water? Hopefully you can. Let see. It's not on the bottom there now, but you can see how it's just. It pulses, doesn't it, as it goes up and down? Let's have a check of it. Um, if you've seen my Z-Man video, I've been using Z-Man lures for a long time uh, since they first come out. But for ras, um, I pulled a little bit of the plastic over the eye of the jig head just to hold it there. It can't be pulled off. That is one of your problems with Z-Man lures. You can, you know, happily go go ahead and buy their uh, chin lock, I think it is, hooks or something like that. I don't buy them. But, uh, and they'll solve that problem for you, but you, uh, there is a Z-Man video I put up in the last week or two. Just rigging and which ones I use and for what. And uh, I show this, how to do that. You, do, you basically grab a bit with another hook, a barbless hook, and pull it over. Or you can use bobber stoppers on EWG hooks. I did put the centers in, I think. Yep. FS is floating finesse sticks. So it's a floating bait. And it's in the Bama bug colour. So it's a dark <laughs> colour. I'll show you it now. It's three inches, maybe. It's a green belly with copper, gold, silver flake. Um, with a purple back. Uh, has a hole in the tail, which is, I guess, what makes it float. And we're going to just rig it on the net as you would any other floating stick. I have some pink lures with me as well, which I will try. I've gone too far with that. I'll have to come back. That's a dog. There. So that's rigged lovely. I won't say perfectly, but plenty good enough. Let's just tear it there. Now we're sat nice. I say I've got my flotation vest on, so. If I take a dunk, I'm just going to get wet. And it's not deep, I could stand up again anyway. Uh, finesse sticks look nice. Yeah, down that way. I, I reckon the perch have dropped off down there. It's a little bit slacker water. There's still mullet cruising around. I think it's a bit too much flow for a perch. Fine for the chill. Oh, yeah, got. Yeah, I think I got something. Something hit it. Doesn't. Yeah, there's a fish on there. It's a little perch, I'm sure. It's just really something the hell out of it. Now it's woke up. It's realised it's hooked now. Here we go. Take it nice and steady. Grab your line, if you don't want to be dead sticking your rod. Look at that beautiful little fish there. Bring him to hand. It's not that small, is he? I think I had a smaller one and then this one. So, caught that on the finesse stick on a Ned rig. So that's the uh, Bama Bug colour from FS Slurs. Beautiful fish. I should have done an underwater shot with that. Next one, Age, come on. Get it together. Yep, yeah, knew they'd work. They're lovely.